Hello everyone, welcome to FA Learning. Today I am going to talk about a Springer system piping configuration uh, as for NFPA 13. So let's start now. So as for NFPA 13, we have three different combinations that is street system, looped and gridded one. And of course for most of the project, we have the combination of both. Right? So we'll have a look at all one by one. Let's get started. The first one, we have the three configuration. So in the three configuration, we have water supply only from the branch lines and the sprinkler are uh, only from one, one direction. So the water is going all the way from this side and going to the different branches uh, from this connection. So it's must basic type of sprinkler configuration you can find at the side, right? The next one we have the looped configuration. So with the looped configuration, we have hydraulically uh, advantage of that one compared to the tree system. Because uh, of doing that, we can see this is our supply line. The water is going to all the way from two sides, right? And if you can say this is the most hydraulic remote area, the water is going from this area. Let's say this is flow Q1 and this is flow Q2. And then at here some pressure we have and at, at, at here we have some pressure. So this all combined together giving some better hydraulic advantage for that one. So if you have warehouses or some areas where we can found this kind of the arrangement, that should be one of the best solution yeah, to that one. Again, using this one, we have, uh, it allows us to choose smaller cross mains. Uh, this cross mains should be a smaller in that case compared to the three system because as I said, we are getting water from the two side. We have the hydraulic advantage for that one. Yeah, this system have no uh, limitation on uh, any kind of the system. It can, we can use this one on wet, dry, deluge and pre-action system. There is no uh, problem with that one. The last one, uh, we have the gridded configuration, right? When we talk about the gridded configuration, we can say it is the one of the best with advantage of hydraulic calculation. Highly advantageous hydraulic calculation or layout, if you can see the... Uh, the supply is coming from this side and now the pipe is totally connected here from one end to other end, right? So in doing, do, doing this way, we have the hydraulic advantage of that and uh, we can say uh, in, again in the warehouses, uh, retail shops or where we have some kind of uh, a space where we can utilize this one, then I will prefer it to go with uh, the gridded one because doing so is we can, you know, uh, design our system at uh, the means the capacity of the fire pump based on the pressure pressure requirement will be less because we have less friction loss uh, compared to the other previous one which is grid, uh, looped and and looped and uh, gridded one uh, sorry looped and three system but there is one problem with that one we cannot use this one with the dry and free action system meaning that you know uh, we know that one in dry system and free action system we have the air above the dry valve uh, if you want to see that video the uh, the links are there in the description for the all the types of wet dry deluge and, deluge and uh, free action system you can go to that one or you can go to my youtube channel and watch those dry system uh, specification how it works with the air or nitrogen above the valve so what i'm trying to say that if we are using this configuration with the dry and pre action system which is not allowed and then we have some problem suppose in case uh, in this area we have fire right and uh, this four is finger breaks now first in the dry system the air released and then due to the differential pressure water pressure gets higher than the air pressure and it pushes the clapper to open the valve and then it allows uh, to go inside the piping but in this case doing do doing those you know we have air coming from this side, water coming from this side, uh, we have air all the way in the piping. It will take lots of time, you know, it will time consuming, it will delay the activation of dry or pre-action system because of the pressure differential and also the water reaching to the location of the fire where the sprinkler system is fused, it will delay. So it will delay uh, the discharge of sprinkler system from piping and hence it is not reliable for uh, dry or free action system because we know our sprinkler system has been designed for certain areas right so if this is the areas we have to protect this one only something uh, like this one and if the fire growth is going up to these areas and then our sprinkler system is getting discharged in that case 
it is very tough for us, you know, for the sprinkler system to extinguish and control the fire, right? Again, the choice between uh, the last point I want to add here, the choice between three looped and gridded one is based on uh, available water supply versus the system uh, demand, right? So it depends on what is the water supply we have, what is the system demand, right? And if you can see, it also depends on the what is the cost of, of the project and what is the type of uh, the layout we have available at the site. That we have to look for that one. We have the combination one, the star asterisk here. Combination of three looped and gridded are possible. Let's say if this is our uh, gridded one, and some areas we have two or three sprinkler, right? So that one we can took the three. So this is a gridded and this is a three. So combination of that is also uh, possible. Uh, last but not the least, it is uh, based on the project cost, economical cost, you know, and the layout at the site that is available uh, to take the occupancies, right? So that's all about uh, today's lectures, three loop gridded, gridded system. And I hope to see you uh, soon in next uh, one week to 10 days. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe so that you can get the latest update on various FA topics. So that's for now. Take care. I'll see you next time.